hello, 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 and welcome to Code Lab now. That's the new name here. Um, I'm, my name is David Lockhart. I'm the uh, educator support coach at Tinker. Basically, I'm the person that supports all your teachers out there. I'm a former teacher and tech coach myself. I was a teacher and tech coach for many years and big guy in a bow tie on Twitter. And with me today, I have my friend, Mr. Rezac. How are you, Mr. Rezac? Well, I am so excited. I'm so excited that uh, to be in the code lab, that is where we are. We're in the code lab in this space. Uh, it's exciting. And I'm always excited to share uh, share uh, talk projects and ideas with Tinker. Uh, today we're going to be sharing a really fun one. So uh, I'm excited about that. And uh, uh, healthy and, and happy here in, in Chicago. <laughs> I'm in Atlanta, so I'm healthy and happy in Atlanta. And so today what we are going to do, or we are going to do the Code Lab uh, Collaborative Coding with Crystal Clash. And so let's kind of flip over. Can you tell us a little bit about this Crystal Clash there, Mr. Rezac? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So today uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing very beginner stuff with Crystal Clash. Crystal Clash is a uh, collaborative environment where students can um, they can code kind of like with other people all around the world. Uh, and basically, it's like an introduction to bot programming. That's what it is. Uh, and so Crystal Clash kind of land. You program your avatars or your heroes. And then uh, they you put them in the arena and let them do battle. Uh, so we're going to be coding uh, a few different uh, heroes today. We're going to be building our hunter, our lion, our shadow, and then we're just going to you know take some questions and see how we can make those uh, heroes a little bit better. See how we can iterate and improve uh, our uh, our heroes and, and improve our game. So uh, it's going to be great. And as always, we have a live chat going that I'm looking at, Mr. Rezac's looking at, there's other people looking at. And so we definitely want you guys to go and tell us what you think. Like, are you going to be able to go in there and build your hunter, your lion, your shadow? Um, tell us what you think. Tell us what you're at. Ask questions. If something's not making sense, uh, make sure we know and we can definitely go back to it. But before we get there, let's go and see how to get started and how to get to Crystal Clash in the Hour of Code. Hey everybody, let's get started. So what we're doing today is we're actually doing an hour of code lesson. And so all you have to do to get started is go to tinker.com and you click that sign in right above my head. And what you're gonna get once you click that sign in is you're gonna get this big orange box that comes up. And if you're a student, you're gonna click over here and sign in as a student. If you're a teacher, you can just go right above the head where it says teacher and you can sign in that way. Now, with the Hour of Code, there's a couple of different ways to actually get to it, and it depends on how what kind of uh, profile you have, if you're a teacher or a student. So the first way is actually if you're a teacher. And so if you're a teacher, what you can do is you can click the resources page over here, and then there's the Hour of Code tab up there at the top. That'll get you to the Hour of Code page where you can access this lesson. Or what you can do is you can actually go into one of your classes and Hour of Code's already assigned for you. And so you can go and you can click this button that's like right above, right behind my head that says Manage Lessons and it'll take you right to the Hour of Code page. Or what you could do is you can actually go to, just go to tinker.com slash Hour of Code and you can find it there. So this project is a lot of different places. There's all kinds of ways you can access the Hour of Code. And our guest is actually gonna be the one who takes you to the specific place for this specific project. All right, Mr. Rezac, you ready to share your screen? All right, let's, let's see it so you can get started. Can you see my screen? We can see your screen. It's all you now. Oh, joy. All right. So again, uh, the, the idea here is we're going to make three heroes uh, that are going to do battle. And uh, we'll walk you through all of those things here in just a minute. Um, just so you know, I'm logged in as a student. Just thought that might be a, a little better of a view since uh, this is for students. But the way I'm getting to uh, this uh, Crystal Clash is I'm just going through my hour of code. 
Uh, and there's a couple ways I can do that. I can go in my class, like you said, uh, and then in the bottom of my classes is uh, the Hour of Code, or I can just go to the Hour of Code page. Uh, so I just went through my classes. So that's how I got there. And then you can see down there, you've got Crystal Class right there. Uh, so I open that up. And here I go. So uh, in this little uh, land, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to create a hero. How are we doing? Good? Better? Oh, super. Hey, that's why this is live and we love it. <laughs> um, but uh, just to backtrack one little second, I'm just going to go and um, just wanted to mention that uh, the way I'm getting to Tinker or uh, to Crystal Clash is through my classes. Uh, but if you're like a home student, you can also just go to the Hour of Code page. Uh, if you just go to Tinker um, Hour of Code, uh, and I've just got that right there. And you can, you can click on it right there. Um, but I like to remind students to, you know, to go through their classes and go through their dashboard if they can. And make, I want to make sure that you guys are logged in. I don't want you to go to Hour of Code and not be logged in. So here we're going to do that. Uh, and again, it's right there. You can jump on Crystal Clash there. And uh, like I said a little bit before, we want to make sure we're going to be doing three things. We're going to be uh, building our heroes. Uh, and then we're going to be putting them into battle. So uh, these are the three uh, things that we're going to do. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to build my first hero, uh, which is my hunter. All right, let me get back to my landing page. Let's go there. Uh, so you can kind of look around here. I, I mean, I didn't really introduce folks to that first, but that's okay. If you want to just go through the tutorial, we're going to put you into battle so that you can kind of see how this ends up looking anyway. And then we can break down what the quest and the friends book and the games and all that stuff are. So I'm just gonna dive right into the, uh, um, uh, into the tutorial first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm setting up my code uh, here. I'm going to basically tell my, my hero to attack. And if, if he doesn't attack, uh, then he's gonna do something else. So we're just uh, learning a specific kind of uh, coding here. Uh, and there's a specific kind of terminology. Uh, and maybe you guys know what that is. So if we can attack, we're telling him to attack. If not, or else, we're going to tell him to move to the next enemy. So this is very basic. Uh, and this is, if, do you guys know what, the, what kind of uh, term this would be, this kind, of, uh, this kind of code block? You can add, put it in the chat. But let's go ahead and hit play, and we're going to test this code out. All right, so now we are in our arena. And this is how that looks. And you can see I'm Danny Bobs. And what's nice is you see the little block uh, above him above my avatar there, kind of telling you what, uh, what he's going to be doing. He's shooting, he's moving, he's moving around. That's great. So congratulations, we win. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save and exit. Uh, do you guys have any questions while we're paused right there? We've done the first one, so that's good. Yay, we're back. No problem. Um, so this is, you know, this is a conditional, basically. So we're doing if-then statements. Uh, basically, 
and we need to get better, right? So we have our, our you're always pretty much going to win your first battle with your, with your hunter. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into tutorial number two. Uh, and again, if you, if you guys have questions, thoughts, uh, just let us know. We'll pause, uh, give you a shout out in the chat. So now I want to do a little bit better. And as you go through these tutorials, you're going to have three heroes that are going to be of a little better skill every time. I love dogs. And so now we're going to put this in here. So we're, we're adding some conditionals here. There we go. So now we're going to add more than one. We're going to add more than one statement here. So there we go. So what's going to happen uh, right now? If we can attack, we're going to attack. Or if we can't, right? Uh, we're going to go um, to the nearest power up, right? If it's less than four. And then if we can move to the nearest power up, then uh, uh, so that's, so yeah, yeah. So if we attack and attack, and then if we if the nearest power up is less than four, we're going to move to that power up. And if the distance to the nearest enemy is less than five, we can move there. So uh, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Or else we'll move to center. There we go. All right, version two. Now notice in the second tutorial, I don't always win, right? So as the game gets a little bit more challenging, as you get more skills, you're gonna meet other characters that have better skills. And so if we didn't win, what do we have to do, right? We have to, we have to fix something, we have to get better. Luckily, there's a third tutorial that'll help us uh, uh, do the, uh, uh, make it even better um, uh, hero, and that is the shadow. So pausing, questions, thoughts, somebody says that's cool, and I do agree, it is cool. Uh, but uh, we gotta do better than that, and I know that my, my shadow will do very well. So if you go to your third tutorial, again, we're just building uh, additional statements and we're adding logic basically to this, uh, to this character. Uh, and the more logic you have, I think you probably would guess the better your chances of uh, improving, of winning. And so um, let's add, we've got our first statement, right? If I can attack, then I'm gonna attack. Uh, if there's an enemy visible or a power up. So now I'm adding additional uh, options here. Uh, so if, I, if an enemy is visible or a power up is visible, then I'm gonna move ahead. And my next one is if the number of enemies is less than one, then I'm going to move away. And you guys can start thinking about, is this logic even good? You know, like maybe there's a better way to do this. What, this is the last part you know, that I'm always curious about is, uh, if none of these, uh, you know, uh, variables are present, then it's going to say move to the nearest enemy. So it's kind of creating a, a, a bit of a loop. So let's go ahead and complete that and hit play and see what happens on our third try. I would have to go back and look. I haven't checked my leaderboard stats in a while, but I did uh, do this. Uh, you know, we did this at a conference a few months ago where we had um, you know, created our own guys and it, it's under a different account. So I'd have to go and take a look. Um, but probably not as good as some students. There are people that when we did this, um, we did an event, oh, it was at a, at a conference um, but we did it with teachers and every day they would go in, they'd refresh their characters, they'd add logic, they would, oh wow, look, we are getting down to the very nitty. Oh my gosh, that was great. Um, all right, but here's the thing, right? So you have three, you have three heroes. Now it's, uh, you can activate them, right? So which hero would you want activated? Would you want the one who had like the least amount of logic? 
or would you want the one who probably has a little bit of cred? So I have that one active. Um, but the nice thing is, is when they're active, you can go ahead and, and this is where the game really gets interesting. You start a battle, right? And who are you battling with? That is the real question. Uh, so if you go ahead and start a battle, um, you can do solo or you can do a duo. Um, but you need to be part of a team. So we're going to do a solo. I'm not going to uh, share that just yet. Uh, but now what the, what the cool part of this, this game is we are now basically collaborating and we're, uh, with people and students all over the world, right? Uh, so I don't know exactly who all these, these students are, but they, I'm betting, have done are, and are doing so much better than I am uh, when it comes to their logic. And uh, I, have, I have no hope that I'm going to survive this. Maybe I'll get second uh, if I'm lucky. But uh, let's just see how we do. I think I'm not even there anymore, am I? Let's see. No, I'm still there. If I win, I'd be very surprised. No, no way, right? Fourth place. Because students are smart. Students know how to, uh, um, students know how to do this. And when you're very persistent and you try, you know, like I didn't do very well and I have to do, I have to play again or I'm gonna have to go and do what? I mean, if I'm not winning, right? Um, oh, look at that. I got 50 gold points. Yay. Um, and I got 100 gold points. And I can eventually, oh, wow, I did really well uh, for getting fourth place. So, so that's what you do when you start battle. Basically, your character, your avatar is now open and in the battlefield, you know, forever uh, playing other people. And so if you go, see how I have like 80 wins there? Um, if I left the game for a week and I came back, there would be more. There, you know, he would have jumped into uh, some other arena battles between others. So there's a little uh, help menu here. It kind of breaks things down. Uh, there are some questions in there, so that's good. So this is another kind of fun part, the friends section. And if I want you to do battle with me, uh, I can share my code. And you can add that code and we can do battle together. So I could add a friend there. Uh, and this is where the collaborative piece kind of uh, has a, gets really interesting. And then you get into the leaderboard. And that's um, where you can see, you know, here's how I'm doing on solo battles. And there's a, it's like a worldwide leaderboard, ready? Right? Who is uh, doing the best? That's a lot of games, 2,000, uh, you know, or, 519 wins, 35% yeah. win percentage, that's great. If I want to see what my character is and how they are winning, I can review and I can look at how they're doing. Um, I can take a look at my friends here. And this is interesting because when you go to friends, you basically can see your class, right? Um, this is how you're doing against students in your, if you're in a part of a uh, school and you have a class, you can look and see who's doing what in your particular class. Uh, and so I think actually that's a lot of fun um, because you know sometimes we want to do battle with our friends in, in, our, own, uh, in our own class. Uh, and then we do this like in season, so you can go back to last season, maybe a season before, and you can see how you did um, previously. Uh, but this is, this is Crystal Clash. This is bot programming. And, you know, I like to, I like to think of it, I, know, I was told I'm not supposed to say that this is artificial intelligence, but I do know that many who are starting along the idea of learning artificial intelligence can, they will do bot programming games. Uh, and uh, this is uh, very much along that line. So, um, so thoughts, questions, concerns, comments, so we had a great question in the chat about- oh, David, are you muted? Because I think you're muted. Can you hear me now? Hold on a second. So we had a great question in the chat. So I think I was muted on the Zoom, on, on your side, not on their side, nope. but um, yeah. So a, why is logic so important in coding? Well, you know, coding is all logic. You know, it's a language uh, in, in its own right. Um, and it's, it's, you know, basically, I think when you, when you think about um, the whole concept, it's about moving something from point A to point D or creating some sort of process. 
Uh, and whenever you have a process, you know, I will go back to the time where when I was, you know, 10 years old, we had this thing called a big track in our, in my house. It was a toy where you could program it to go like five feet, turn left, you know, go three feet, go forward. And you could program this thing to go all through your house. Uh, so the whole idea uh, of programming is about logic. How, you know, what are your obstacles? Are there, and those would be variables. You know, what are the things you have to work, worry about, you know, hitting the wall uh, or, you know, going around? Uh, so um, this whole game is designed to be uh, basically about improving logic. You know, you're, you have all these variables and some, th this game's gonna throw even more out at you, right? It's gonna say, uh, well, now there's power-ups and there's, you know, uh, people have shields and there's all these things that you have to, uh, um, some characters can start spawning in different spots. So how do you deal with, deal with those variables and uh, uh, improve your, you know, improve your, lo your logic, improve your uh, outcome um, to, uh, to the best of your, you know, your ability to, so that it, it's the outcome that you desire. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to start uh, really diving deeper into Crystal Clash. I've played with it a little bit, but it's one that I gotta, I gotta learn a little bit more with. Yeah, I, I urge everyone to, to to give it a try. This is the one that I think too that teachers and even you know parents might see as like, hey, is this really computer science? Like it looks like you're just playing a game, uh, and there is that gaming element too, which is a lot of fun, right? Yeah, it's fun. But uh, often I think it gets uh, put into a category where, uh, you know, it looks like maybe it might be distracting of so, you know, uh, to some, but it's really teaching uh, super deep uh, concepts uh, when it comes to computer science. And Absolutely. So we, gotta, you know, we gotta keep that going. So any other questions in the chat? Um, so um, my friend who just posted their friend code, um, uh, I. I can't approve that comment just for now, but uh, we definitely, we can, uh, I mean, we can do that a little bit later just because we got to keep you anonymous on this show. I apologize, my friend. Um, but if there's no other questions, I think what we'll talk about is we'll transition to talk about the next show. The next show is actually tomorrow at the same time. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m., 11 a.m., not p.m., uh, Pacific time. Um, definitely join us. I believe Mr. Rezac is hosting, and I'm not exactly sure who what the project is tomorrow. I know I've seen it. Maybe you can remind me, Mr. Rezac. Oh, no problem. Tomorrow it is Mr. Alaprandi. He's going to be joining, uh, and we're going to be going through... Uh, which one is it? I've got it here. I actually pulled it up on my screen, but it's uh, Space Cowboy. I think Space uh, Cowboy is, I thought Space no, Cowboy was Thursday and that's the one that I'm doing. Mine is in reverse for chronological order. So it is uh, uh, Project Prowess with Pattern Maker. We're gonna be doing Pattern Maker. Oh, that, and that's a really cool project. It teaches some great math skills there. Math and art. Yep. Um, which is two great combinations. Absolutely. Again, this is a beginner project, but anybody can take, you can take any one of these projects and make them into an advanced project. So if you think we're just talking to uh, the, the younger ones, we're talking to everyone. Absolutely. Um, go as far as you, as you want with these. So that is tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Mr. Rezac. If you want to not share your screen anymore. So they can oh, see you. I can stop <laughs> there you are. Um, so yeah. So joy. So thank you for joining us. Uh, a few things still to work out, but we'll definitely get them worked out. And here no is the outro. Video.